Hey, everybody. Okay. Gotta go this way. Aha. Guess we have to go this way. Awesome. We're just gonna wait until nine-ish. Hope everybody's doing well. Aw, hi Julie. Hi Lane, hopefully. Hey Joe, this is cool. Hi Andrew Irvin. <laughs> Welcome to my apartment everyone. I would offer you a drink, but what can you do? Or some bread. Hi, Elisa. Bernie's over here. He'll join us later. This is so cool. <laughs> Bernie might be singing later on. We're gonna have a special bedtime with Bernie edition of this after I play a little. Ah, oh, wonderful. David Gerstein is here. Hi, so cool. Hey, Kristen, Meredith, this is awesome, cool. And Janice, David. Awesome, hi, Tim. Hope everyone is safe and healthy and everything. Hello, hi, Jim. So we're gonna get started just in a couple minutes, gonna wait, see if anybody else comes. <laughs> Wonderful. This is kind of an introvert's nightmare and dream all in one. What can you do? Awesome. Hi, Justin. And Tim. Hey, Tim. Oh, I hope you and Sally are well. It's good to see you. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Leslie. And Laura, oh, all my family's here. Is Sebastian watching too? Awesome. <laughs> Aw. Hey, Blake. Very cool. All right, we are waiting on my little brother to come and join us, everybody. This is exciting. Hi, Kristen. Oh, cool. What's up, Blake? How are the girls? So that's the second time I've tuned. Maybe one more time and then we can start. Mark Benz, hello. Leslie, is Sebastian there yet? Everybody, this is really exciting. My high school senior little brother is going to be watching this. It's very exciting. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go soon. Hi, 
Bye, Jamie. There's a very lazy beagle on my couch right now, and he might snore while this happens, so our deepest apologies if that is what goes on. A violin is a guitar as well as a violin. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Drew. We are Team Sebastian, for sure. My brother Sebastian was actually named after Bach, so he's a big supporter. Hi, Jim. Cool. Yeah, my hair is getting extremely long. <laughs> Aw, I like the snoring beagle, too, Kristen. It's so strange to not be able to actually have a conversation. What are we doing, Blake? We are, we are waiting for more people to come. I think we're gonna start. All right. Well, we're just gonna get going here. Um, welcome. This is Bedtime with Bach Live Edition, which is something that we've been doing every Saturday for, I guess, basically the past month now. It's kind of crazy that this has all been going on for a month. Um, we here at the Arkansas Symphony are very, 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 um, very grateful to all of the support that our patrons and our supporters and the whole ASL family that you have all shown to us over this period of time, and especially last week on ASL Giving Day, was just astounding. Um, so thank you all so much for being here. We were supposed to be playing um, right now, this evening, um, our Masterworks program and we were scheduled to perform Berlioz's Symphonie Fantastique, which um, is one of my favorite pieces of music. Um, so I wanted to play just a little bit of that for you. Um, this piece is programmatic music. It it's, tells the story of this artist who's um, under the influence of opium, I think, and who's madly in love with, okay, now my elevator is going off, that's okay. This is what happens when we live in an apartment complex. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be play playing a little bit of Berlioz for you. This is from the third movement of the symphony. Um, just a little bit of this. It's going to feel a little strange to be playing without the rest of our wonderful violin sections, but it felt like the right thing to play today. So this is from Auf dem Land and Berlioz's Symphony Fantastique.
thank you all again for for coming and being here. Um, I think traditionally we've done a little bit of question and answer. Oh, that's really hard to play um, by yourself. Um, I I was intending originally to play some of the E major partita, but that just didn't quite feel right. So I played that instead. And Meredith and Drew and Kirill the whole time, I'm just feeling like I'm sitting next to you guys. So it's hard and it makes it better to imagine it that way. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for, for being here. Um, I think if anybody has any questions about, about the ASL, about what we're doing, feel free to um, pass them along. I wanted to give a brief um, education update. So in addition to um, being the assistant concertmaster of your symphony, I am also directing our Sturgis Music Academy, and we're as operational as possible. Um, there are a couple of schools um, where, you know, we have limited contact with the students, but we're all still as in touch as, as we can be. But with our private academy, we're all still teaching. Um, right now we're teaching 71 private students every week between myself and three other teachers. Um, I'm teaching, including some of my private students, I have about 39 private lessons a week and three group classes. Um, but it's, it's been mostly on Zoom and on FaceTime and Skype, um, basically any program that works with our families. Um, and it's been it's been hard and exhausting sometimes, but it's also really wonderful to see some of our students taking this opportunity to practice way more than they ever have before. So that's been really, really great to see. And um, yeah, it's just about it's just about keeping that alive. Um, even though it's hard, it is absolutely worth it. And um, we are even going to be holding our solo recitals um, in May all on Zoom, and I'm working right now on how to get that to be live as well. So if anybody has any advice with Zoom, please let me know. Um, anyway, if we have any questions, Andrew Irvin, I know maybe you were the um, question asker, so if there are any questions for this Q&A session, please bring them our way. I'm going to go sit next to my dog over here for a few minutes, and we can all just talk. Du -du 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 -du. Let's see. I know Justin Eisenhower is here. It's so exciting. Here's Bernie. Can we all see my dog? Where's the dog? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, I know. Yeah, we can't wait for the recitals too. It's gonna be really. It's gonna be really good. What we're gonna do? Um, we're going to have the piano part already recorded, and then send that to the kid, and then the parent will send that to me and then I will share my screen so that we don't deal with any, there's lots of varying levels of internet connection out there. So um, that will hopefully solve that. Drew says, what's the most surprising thing about online teaching? Um, that's a good question, surprising thing. Um, I mean, I've done it before, um, so I guess Nothing too surprising. I think what's just new for me is just how many lessons I'm having to teach. Yeah, Bernie's been asleep the whole time. <laughs> um, and, but I think I think this, the surprising thing, I mean, I wouldn't even say that this is surprising, but um, one of the most welcome things is just how, how uh, on board all of our families have been with this, through this whole process. Like, I everyone is just super gung-ho about it and um really 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 i think not to put words in anyone's mouth but i feel like people are really grateful that lessons can still continue um that's been good favorite thing i've baked or cooked over this homestay well i bake and cook a lot um i have tried out some new bread recipes i made a cinnamon raisin loaf i've made a couple of those I've made um, really good toasted. Um, the recipe's at kingarthurflower.com. Um, I've made a lot of this dish. It's like a potato tortilla sort of breakfast situation. It's really good. It's like, um, I know you all are looking for recipes. It's four eggs, 
like half a pound of pound and a half of potatoes all chopped up and then I know Bernie's <laughs> Bernie's coughing um hi Bernie do you want to get on the camera do you want to see everybody want to say hi okay he wants to say hi now um yeah just kind of new recipes that take a while that's that's what I've been um kind of looking for is like things that are going to be a big project uh do I play any other instruments I play the viola in addition to the violin um I used to sing in choirs but I do not sing very much now the dog is fine so my, my dog Bernie he's a rescue I've had him for two years and um when I first got him he was heartworm positive and he's fine now he's completely free of the heartworm, but sometimes he still has a little residual coughing. So that's just kind of what happens when you have an old curmudgeonly dog. Um, I am not picking up any new instruments right now during quarantine because I'm teaching so much, but I'm hoping that when my semester's over, I will have a little bit more time to explore maybe something along those lines. <laughs> the dogs of ASO calendar, that would be amazing. I have I can sing. I don't sing very often, but I can. It's kind of a Williamson family requirement to have to be able to sing. Right, Laura? I don't know if you're still watching. I think my sister's watching. <laughs> anyway, if there are no further questions, I think we might finish this live bedtime with Bach situation here, even though that was bedtime with Berlioz. Oh, for any parents out there, I grew up with um, this child like children's book i think it's called barely was the bear maybe um it's a great children's book <laughs> my stepmother is laughing <laughs> um and i feel like barely is the bear and something happens with his base and it starts to buzz anyway it's a super cute children's book so i've known the name barely since i was like four even though i don't know if i properly realized who he was for a pretty long time. Yes. Oh, so many people in here know my family. This is awesome. My, my, my aunts are both very good singers. Oh, this is so awesome. I don't think I'm going to prove that I sing right now, but maybe, <laughs> maybe in a couple of weeks. Bernie's favorite part of quarantine is, um, what's your favorite part of quarantine? Bernie's life has, the walks in Bernie's life have increased significantly. So um, he's not the world's biggest walker. So I don't know if he's loving that aspect of quarantine. I think he's one of those dogs. I'm sure you all have seen those memes of dogs that are like hiding on top of the cabinets, trying to get away from owners walking them. That's kind of Bernie's vibe. He's like, can we just stop walking now? That'd be cool. Um, anyway, yeah. Yeah, the image has been reversed. I'm not sure why, but go over here, go over here, go over here. Oh, I think it's great that you're singing for online church. That's awesome, Kristen. Yeah, my hair is ridiculous. It's getting so long. I think I'm just never gonna cut it ever again. Oh, hi, Ray. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, so nice. I hope you're all well. Hope you're all staying healthy and safe. I love you guys. All right. Sing? No, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> not gonna do it. Maybe Bernie will sing. Bernie, are you gonna sing? Bernie's not gonna sing, but he's gonna lick me. <laughs> I'll sing next time. Okay, I'm officially gonna sign off if, if you people want me to sing. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for being here. And um, we will see you again tomorrow night for some more Bedtime with Bach, I'm sure. Um, and again, thank you so much for all of your support. It's really been wonderful. It's nice to see all these people online. And um, have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bernie, you want to say bye? Want to say bye? Bernie's going to say goodbye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye.